Hi again, uh, I'm Peter Lindemann and this is Tesla Chargers and today we're going to show you a demonstration of the new Solar Tracker 5 model S3A12. It's the latest uh, technology from uh, John Bedini and let me show it to you right here. What we have here is, this is, this is the unit here, it's a 3 amp uh, 12 volt solar uh, charge controller and uh, it has all the same technology as the other solar trackers. We have it connected up to this um, uh, solar panel and this is a 45 watt solar panel that we got from Harbor Freight. And so this is the standard uh, uh, unit that they sell. Of course we don't use their charge controller because it um, isn't as good as this. And also what we're showing in this demonstration here is this battery here, this is a 40 or a 35 amp hour um, uh, deep cycle battery thunder, by Thunderbolt, same manufacturer as the panels, and this is also available from Harbor Freight. So um, these these materials are readily available, and what we're going to do is we want to show now if you pan to the sky a little bit you can see that we're kind of in a cloudy period and if we if we scoot around to take a look at the front of these panels these are the amorphous um, what are called low light panels so that you, you don't see any blue crystals here these things go are good in uh, low light or uh, off-peak conditions and so that's why we recommend these we're in Idaho so we don't have we don't see the Sun more than about five minutes a day and um, so Here's the situation. We have drawn, this battery was topped off a little bit ago, and we, we, draw, we, uh, we, we drew it down with this uh, drill here for about 15 minutes just to take some power out of it so that um, uh, there's some room for this demonstration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this, the, the solar tracker, and then we'll start watching this thing charge the battery. So um, everything's hooked up. Um, the, uh, the panels are hooked up to uh, these little clip leads and all I have to do to make this thing uh, start is just uh, clip lead this uh, on. So I, I want to first say that the, this red light is here, this red light is on because the output cables, you can see the red light is on here, okay, the, that's because the, the output cables are already connected to the battery and that's why that's there. So when I turn this, when I when I put the, the solar panel on, we don't see this change but what we do see is we start we start seeing this meter rising and that's telling us that it's charging. And so even if you take a look at the sky here, we got one big cloud, okay? It's crazy, okay? But if we come down to the meter, when the, when the uh, light adjusts again for the, the camera, we're charging, okay? So that's the idea. We want to be able to charge on cloudy days. So um, let's just watch this for a while. And um, um, it won't charge very much, but it is charging, and that's the most important thing. So this is a 45-watt panel um, when the sun is out. And... Um, but as you can see, uh, the voltage the voltage continues to rise, even in these conditions. You can't even see a shadow. There's no sun anywhere on the ground, and it's we're still charging. That's the idea.
So you can see that the uh, the meter continues to climb. Uh, we're only going up by hundreds of a volt here, but uh, it does show that there is uh, pressure from the panels on the battery, and the battery continues to rise. So um, we'll probably edit this a little bit, make take a couple of breaks here. Um, but we're just going to let the camera run and um, uh, for this entire charge sequence. As soon as the sun comes out, it shouldn't take very long to top the battery, and then you can see the topping event. Okay, so here comes the here comes the sun, and you can see the meter really jumping up. Now we're at uh, thirteen, almost thirteen thirty here. There's 1330. So we got a lot of noise in the background. We got uh, sounds of the neighborhood. We've got some uh, wind chimes and we've got a bunch of wind. It's kind of a windy day here. So um, Hopefully, uh, all those uh, sounds in the background uh, just you know show you that this is a real this is a real world test. We're uh, uh, we're just doing this in uh, in the backyard and showing you what this amazing technology can do. The combination of the amorphous panels and the Solar Tracker Five, even even when it's scaled down to this small. And by the way, for uh, uh, emergency situations, small small power, or if you're uh, out camping or uh, um, or in any kind of uh, emergency or survival situation, this is the kind of uh, setup you want. Uh, you want to be able to charge in lousy conditions. You want to be able to uh, uh, produce a significant amount of power with a small system. And you want the battery to be able to be topped out and, and here is a perfect example. We're, we're charging, and there's almost no shadow uh, anywhere uh, in, in the situation, as you can see on the camera. When the sun comes out, you see a few little beams of, uh, of light coming between the panels. And right now, there's no, there's no real shadow. Um, and uh, we're, the, the battery is still charging. So here's the sun. The sun comes out, and uh, now we see some, uh, you know, strong lines of, uh, and the, and the, it looks like we're just, we just topped out, just boom, okay, 1503. We see the green light here on the uh, on the solar tracker. We see the the uh, battery charges straight up to 1505 and holds, and uh, that's exactly what a topping situation looks like. We were able to do that in just a few minutes with the sun full out. So uh, that's uh, the demonstration. We can take a little bit of power out and, and, and show some other things. Um, can you see the deal? And, Yeah, if you move the camera back a little bit, yeah. There you go.
başlayalım. So this has been a demonstration showing that we can run, we can run a load and continue to charge the battery at the same time using the Solar Tracker 5. Now if I just pop this load off, you should see this thing should just pop right to the top and goes green and tops the battery right away. So um, uh, just shows you that, but when, with the battery sitting at about 14.8, it's, it's still charging and it's still, um, you know, but we can, so what the what the solar tracker 5 does is it allows you to take p power from the panel without stopping the battery charging process and that's really important um, for uh, having power at night so here we've got another uh, demonstration for you about what the tracker can do and now you can see we're kind of behind the cloud again and what we've done is we've taken the panels and we've connected them directly to the battery. You can see directly from this, this is what we had on the front end of the tracker before. And we put a, a little a blocking diode uh, in, in this system because these, these panels don't have a blocking diode, so we added one just to make sure. But what we can see is that the battery is at about 1375. And, you know, with the panel, and you saw that under these conditions before, we were able to keep charging the battery. But right now, if you just put the battery directly on the panel, um, it's basically not charging. Okay, so here comes the sun. The sun's coming out. And now what you can see is that the panel will, will start pushing on. And you can see it's pushed it way up to almost over 16, you see. So this is really bad. This, when, when there's no charge controller in the system, uh, it doesn't protect the battery. And so um, it not only doesn't charge when the sun's down, but it doesn't protect the battery when the sun's out. So um, now what I want to do is I just want to put this system back together again, the way we had it uh, before, and, and show you our meter. Okay, so we're still basically right at the at the same level. Okay, now here's our here's our sun on these. And so I'm gonna hook this up. So here we go. So with the sun out, the green light comes on, and it doesn't push it to 16. It holds it right at the topping voltage. And, um, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't uh, hold it below, and it doesn't uh, let it go right above. This is right where the chemistry is about finished. 
And so it'll just hold this voltage right here while the sun is out and not let it charge any further. So that's another benefit of the Solar Tracker 5. Uh, it's able to push the battery to the top of its chemistry, but never, never pushes it beyond that. And it won't uh, boil, the, boil the battery dry like a lot of other systems, uh, or undercharge it and not let it charge when um, uh, there's clouds. So again, uh, looks like we're going to get a cloud here. So now we see that the pressure from the, from the panel has dropped um, due to the cloud going by. And so what we see is that even though there's almost, there's almost no sun happening, um, we're still at uh, 1395, which is above that 13. See, if I, if I take the panel off the situation here, see, we're, see it will start dropping. See? So we're down to 1386, and as soon as I, start, I put it on, it bumps right on. So it shows that even when, uh, uh, during cloudy conditions, the Solar Tracker 5 will pass charge to the battery. And in super sun conditions, it will protect the battery at the top. So all of these features are what you want in, a, in an emergency situation. This isn't going to boil your battery dry in good sun, and it's going to give you power uh, to spare in the evenings, even on cloudy days. So again, this is Peter Lindemann. This is uh, Tesla Chargers.